Whether you have the Rev Electrics MPA Paraboard, the Progressive RC Modular Paraboard, or any type of balance connector. When charging LiPos, sometimes you have to rewire the connectors. Now, because there's not a standard in the industry on which side the negative goes to, sometimes you have to make custom cables. And boy, we've really gotten good at making custom cables. All our cases, if you haven't noticed, are different. Different balance boards, different modular pair boards, different pair of boards, different chargers. So we've gotten really good at making new cables to make different chargers with different balance boards work together. Now when you're doing this application where the charger, the balance board, and the cable come together for the manufacturer, it's simple. It's plug and play. But then you look at the bottom of this case, and we modified some stuff, and we have a lot of distance, so we had to use longer cables. Same thing with this case. We're using all kinds of different manufacturers' parts and putting them together. This is where the complication starts. Well, we solved that. As in the case here that we built for Chris Rybert, which actually made it in two magazines, this was the start of us making custom cables. Then you get the case that has 12 balance boards in it, that you're making 12 custom cables. You're good at making cables by the end of this case, whether you want to or not. Our pro cases have been really good to us, and we enjoy building them, but then every once in a while you get that one case that's just so advanced over the other cases, and it's just fun. Here's a few cases that I'll never forget just because of the new challenges that they brought. Let's go ahead and look at some of the balance boards and the cables and the different items that we use to get to the finished product of all these cases. Now because there's so many different manufacturers of balance boards and chargers and combinations that we can have, we just want to show you what the finished product looks like and how we get there. this case that we're working on for my page, we're putting in dual iCharger 308 duos. So that means we're going to have four balance boards that we need to make cables for. So when you look at this completed cable, the negative is on the right and the positive is on the left. But if you look at a cable that has not been modified, the positive is on the right and the negative is on the left. So with this side-by-side -side comparison, you can see how the wires are out of order and we're going to show you how to pop the pins out and put them back in correctly. Now this is not hard at all. We're going to show you a neat trick that we came up with to make it easier for you. When you pull your wires out, if you have an empty connector, you can take them right out of this connector and then move it into the empty connector. And that way you don't have to mark any of your wires or you're never going to get out of order. All you got to do is make sure that you bend that tab up gently before you put it into the new connector. And you see we took the ground out and then we put it into the empty one and it's on the opposite end now. And you just do one wire at a time. Now this little tab is what holds the wire into the connector. So when you push it in, it, drops, it flips up and it grabs. So what we're going to do is show you when you pull it out, you take an X-Acto knife and you gently bend that up. It is a very small piece of metal. You don't want to rip it off. Now after doing all 
whole nine wires when you plug it into the balance board. You're just going to look at the top and make sure you did not push any pins back out of the house. If none push backwards, you did a good job. Now I had some extra wires, so we're going to go ahead and do a couple more of these and show you a close-up of how we do this. You see the little tab up on top? We want that to look like almost like a ski ramp. We want it to whoop up. That way when you push it into the housing, it pops up into that opening right there and it'll lock itself in place. Now that you're getting a close-up look at it, you understand why when you groom it up, you need to be gentle. Also, when you push it down to get it out of the housing, you need to be just as gentle. It's a small, fragile piece of metal. You don't want to break it. Now let's do some balance board basics. Your negative, which is your black wire, is the one that the pins line up all the way down the edge. So if you have a balance board that's not marked, it's easy to figure out which one it is. It's the one that the pins line up all the way down. The positive side is the side that stair steps because you're losing one cell per wire. Now even though these are different color wires, you have a red, a black, and a yellow. The black is the ground all of the other wires are positives and yes you can plug in a 2s into an 8s plug just make sure that you line up the grounds and you'll be good to go now we're going to take a voltmeter and find our ground and then we're going to go up each pin and show you how the voltage goes up per cell and this is how you can test everything to make sure that your pins are good it'll go up each cell voltage until you get to your final voltage we hope you learned something today. If you have any questions, always feel free. Give us a call, 407-656-7881, or you can always email me, rotorcraftrc at gmail.com. Y'all have a great day now.